Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So in this video, I actually want to talk about why I do not use Elwin, rather than do a full video on Elwin, because uh, I had some discussions with some of my guildmates, uh, a few of whom have played on the Chinese server. And from those discussions, it just became very obvious that Elwin, in his current state at least, is not very usable. So let's talk about why. First of all, it's the one big thing is his talent, Brave's Will, okay? When what its effect is, when attacking, damage increases by 10%, this chance increases from 10% uh, to 15 to 20 to 30%. So at 6 star, that 30% damage increase is actually really high. But the other part of it is after battle, there's a 40% chance to restore uh, hit points. And it's 30% of the damage the hero dealt. Now, currently, this hit point restoration, uh, it goes from 40% to 45 to 50%. And then finally at 60%. So at 6 star, it is currently only a 60% chance to restore hit points. Um, that's actually quite a low chance of hit point restoration. And so it makes him very, very luck based. Because if he restores hit points, he's great. If he doesn't restore hit points, he's in serious trouble. So in fact, on the Chinese server, this healing aspect gets buffed in the future. So it actually goes from its current state to 40%, 60%, 80%, and then 100% chance of restoring hit points. So when this talent gets buffed, Elwin does become very useful. But in his current state, in all honesty, he's so luck based that he's not worth using. The second aspect of why I don't use Elwin is his soldiers. Specifically, the Masked Maid. Right now, just like uh, sorry, just like Elwin's talent, Masked Maid also gets a buff. Currently, what happens is before entering battle, sacrifice 10% of the unit's current hit points to increase the soldier's attack, defense, and magic defense. Correct? Well, the problem here is that soldiers come in groups of 10. So... Losing 10% of your unit's hit points means one of the masks made die before you even fight. So you're losing damage potential even before you fight the battle. Mask maids do get an improvement, okay? This uh, damage done to self is actually decreased from 10% to 5%. So in the future, the mask maids, the 10th soldier does not kill himself or herself before the battle begins. So in its current state, mass mates are actually quite a terrible unit. After the buff, when the last mass mate survives, they become much more usable. So in other words, really, the only unit you can use in the meantime for Elwin would be heavy infantry. And I see no need and no reason to level up heavy infantry at this time. Especially when you're going to eventually replace them with mass mates. So that's another reason I do not use Elwin at this time. His unique soldier is qu currently quite terrible, and his talent is far too luck based at this time. Um, last but not least, there is actually one thing, one other reason I don't use Elwin, and it's because of his weapon. Right now, I would say the best weapon for Elwin would be the Seal Guardian, just like for a lot of other uh, sword based infantry, or even cavalry units. But in the future, there is apparently a patch that. Uh, releases unique weapons for every hero. Okay, So Elwin gets a unique weapon, and that unique weapon is actually uh, Elwin's best weapon. It's What it does is it, it gives plus 10% attack, kind of like Steel Guardian giving plus 10% attack at max level, and its other ability is kind of like the Clocks effect. It's exactly like the Clocks enchant, which is when he uses a skill to attack, there's a 30% chance to reduce the skill cooldown by 5. So with that weapon, right, if it activates, you could consistently spam um, Elwin's, let's say, his final attack, Sword Soul, because it has a cooldown of 5. So that weapon also, <clears throat> excuse me, that weapon also makes Elwin really, really good. In the meantime, you know, you're stuck with using, let's say, the Seal Guardian for plus 10% attack or plus 5% defense, or let's say a Magic Blade Sigma, which um, if your unit hit points is above 80%, attack is increased by up to 
depending on the weapon's le level. So I'm not really going to talk about his equipment at this time because, as I said, I'm not using Elwyn and I don't plan to use him anytime soon. If you are preparing for the patch and leveling it up though, you know, you're not wrong. You're not going wrong at, by any means because I guess I don't, but I will say right now, I don't know when the patch is going to be coming. I just know that the Chinese server was patched, but I don't know when that patch will come to the international server. So that pretty much covers why I don't use Elwin. There's also a few other aspects. Let me just bring up the training ground for infantry units especially. So one reason is in fact this skill in the middle, overrun tactics, okay? And it's infantry damage dealt increases by a certain percentage when attacking enemies with lower hit points. Since again, masked maids are suiciding themselves and in fact you lose 10% hit points before the fight begins, that overrun tactics is very very hard to apply okay so that's another reason why I don't use mass maids and in fact a lot of the infantry abilities in the training ground require your hit points to be high see for example emergency treatment right your damage taken is reduced when your hit points is 80% or higher so a lot of these abilities are based on your characters having high hit points. And unfortunately, with mass mates dealing 10% damage to themselves before a battle, and Elwyn's talent not applying consistently due to its low percentage at this time, Elwyn is far too luck-based for me to feel like he's worth using. So that pretty much concludes why I don't use Elwyn. Um, for those who do, in his current state, he is a decent Thunder Dragon killer. You know, it's still very luck based, of course, due to his talent being so utterly random. But nonetheless, he does have Roar and he also has Sword Soul, both of which dispel enemy buffs. Both skills are very useful against the dragon. And, you know, he has his own faction buff. So if you go from fighter, swordsman to hero, just to use him for fighting against the Thunder Dragon and level them up, you're not wrong. Um, and if it's especially useful if you, let's say, have the Dragon Slayer weapon. Uh, that way he can do more damage to the dragon and take less damage since it increases uh, his attack and defense and so on. So yeah, um, right now I see absolutely no reason to use Elwyn, especially since I have Burnhard at 4 star. In the future, if that buff if the Elwyn buff and the Mass Mate buff comes, then Elwyn does become much more usable in general. In the meantime, if you have Bernhard, I honestly suggest you stick with Bernhard. Unless you're playing Legion of Glory. In which case, of course, by all means, use Elwyn in the meantime and level him up. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, I don't really plan to go into detail about his equipment anytime soon. Although if there is really a significant number of demand for it, I might make a short video covering his current equipment. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys found this useful, especially about why I think Elwyn is currently terrible. And if you found this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel. And this is Nitro from the Rocky Valley server in the Guild Snow. Thanks for watching everyone. Nitro out.